Today's episode, we're following Jay Badala from Goodpin, a company that is social good. It takes just as much time to make a call to a big guy as it does to a little guy. And the reason why Jay had to overhaul his entire team was because his staff was too afraid to make those same phone calls. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter the size of the client. People are people. And when we're connecting with them, we can create that value throughout the entire relationship. Jay had an epiphany. If he really wanted to become the national organization that he deserved to be, he had to be focusing on the enterprise level accounts. Focus on the big dollars, focus on the big accounts, and the small guys would follow. Hey there, I'm Jay Baydala, the CEO and founder of Goodpin, uh, located right here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Goodpin's a web platform that helps companies put their charity dollars in the hands of their customers to choose where it goes in small amounts. And then those customers post to social, becoming effectively the marketing for those companies. A great example of one of our customers is Target out of the US. They came to me and said, Jay, we give away over $200 million a year to charity. Uh, nobody knows about it, customers aren't engaged in the process, and impact isn't local to our stores. So what we said is, hey, let's do what we call a free money campaign, essentially a reverse Kickstarter, where they put up money for people to take 10 bucks out and give to the charity of their choice. They figured it would take about a week to give away those funds, and that it would take about $3,000 to activate on Facebook advertising. Well, what they found out is 31 hours later, the thing went viral, went all across the US. It was a thousand times more engaging than typical digital marketing. And uh, the money went 70% to local charities given by local people. So they were blown away. We bring together people, brands, and charities to make their communities better. And we do that right here in our town, Calgary. We're working with lots of local businesses as well as large enterprises to do that exact thing right here in our hometown. Companies seek out good pin because they want to do corporate social responsibility in a better way, a more effective way. Rather than just giving a check to their favorite charity, uh, they can take that check and give a few dollars to each of their customers and engage them in the giving process by saying we care about what matters to you. They're not just giving money to a charity, but they're actually involving their customers in the process of making a better community around them. So those are the types of companies that are looking at Goodpin as a really exciting way to get a better result from their CSR, their corporate social responsibility, but also in their marketing. By giving a dollar to their customer and saying, we care about what you care about, they're creating more loyalty with their customer. That brand is not just identified by the product, but it's identified by that relationship. And together, the community is coming around a certain social cause and giving choice to the consumer to say, what cause matters to you? Out of that comes a lot of data and information about what it is that Calgarians care about, what it is that the corporations care about, and really revisiting how we do good in the 21st century. It's not just about giving money to a cause, it's about engaging a community for a cause, and that's what Goodpin does best. As an entrepreneur, you often have to make some pretty hard choices. Um, given the economic situation in our hometown, Calgary, right now, uh, and given a few other factors, I, I, as the CEO, had to make a pretty hard choice just last week. Um, we needed to narrow down our focus as an organization and get really crystal clear on enterprise sales and letting a piece of our business essentially lie dormant for now, the small to medium side. Um, because of that choice, it had implications in the business. We needed to um, cut down on some of our existing expenses, which meant letting a few people go. And it's, it's horrible and great at the same time. It's horrible because these people are like family to me. And it's great because we're tightening our focus, which gives us a better shot at being successful as a startup. They say the number one reason that startups fail is lack of focus. They try to do all things. And here we are, narrowing our focus and getting really, really tight on our value proposition and our target market. We've been really fortunate to start working with Kim Orleski in the last couple of weeks. Um, as a startup, as any company really, if you don't have sales, you don't have anything. Sales solves most problems in any company. If you've got sales, you're good. And Kim is one of the best. She's renowned all over the internet and in all circles uh, in Canada 
and abroad into the US. She's known to know how to not only do sales but train people in sales and we're really leaning on her to better ourselves as a sales organization to get over these next hurdles. One of our biggest challenges at this point in our company is essentially to get three more, three more enterprise sales. If we get three more enterprise sales over the course of the next four months, our company's golden and we can make the jump to the next level. To really get to understand who your buyer is, you have to stand in their shoes. You have to ask them, what would make me fearful? What would make me stay up at night? And where do I want to be in six months or a year in the future? What are those goals and aspirations? At the end of the day, they don't vary dramatically whether you are an enterprise level account or a solopreneur in a little mom and pop corner store. And had his employees really understood that those fears, those goals, those aspirations were identical, people are people, maybe they would be in a better position to get to those sales even faster. Jay did the right thing. He knew he wanted to be there and that's where he's gonna get to. Don't forget to follow us on social media and when you're ready to become a sales knockout, check us out online.